This little thing here is one of the most vulnerable parts of your bike. And if you have been unlucky enough, like poor old Alex's bike has done here, and gone to take a picture for the bike pod and the bike's fallen over and bent the mech hanger, then it really can cause havoc on your bike. It gears all over the place and in some cases does not function at all. But the good news is it's not that hard to fix. So in this video, I'm going to show you how. So the job of the mech hanger is to provide somewhere to mount the derailleur. And the mech hanger is actually designed to bend. So say if you had a crash or a fall or whacked your derailleur, the hanger would bend to protect the derailleur. And in some cases, if it was quite a bad crash or a fall, the mech hanger would snap in half. Um, and mech hangers come in all different shapes and sizes depending on what bike you have. If you have bent your mech hanger, you'll be able to see just by looking at it. It'll be veering off to one side ever so slightly. And if this is the case, then you're gonna to wanna to sort it out and bend it back. So that's what we're gonna do next. Right, let's go through some of the tools you're gonna to need. First of all, you're gonna need an electronic shift tool, and this is to take the cable out for the DI2. Next up, you're gonna need a five mil Allen key to take your derailleur off. Then you're gonna need a alignment tool. I've got this one from Park Tool. And if you haven't got one of these, then you're gonna need one of these, an adjustable spanner. And in worst case scenario, you're gonna need a new rear mech hanger. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to pop your bike in a bike stand if you have one. Make sure your wheel is in properly, it's tight and it's straight, that's very important. And then next thing, we're gonna take out the DI2 cable with one of these tools. And if you don't have one of these tools, then just carefully pull it out with your fingers right at the connection point. Do not pull in the middle there. Next up, take your Allen key and unscrew the derailleur off gently whilst holding it. And then you can just let that hang down there for a little while. Next up, we're gonna put our alignment tool to some good use and you wanna screw this end right into where the derailleur came out of. So we're gonna take our alignment tool and bring it down to the six o'clock position and you want to adjust it so it's in line with the rim and then you're gonna push this measurement in so it touches the rim and then you're gonna take a measurement of that. I've got these little black rings. So I'm just gonna push that in and that's gonna take our first measurement. Then you wanna move this up directly opposite to the 12 o'clock position and take another measurement. So as we could see, it was touching the rim at the six o'clock position. Now at the 12 o'clock, there's quite a lot of space. So that confirms that it is definitely bent. You then want to do the same at the nine o'clock. That is a bit close there. And then if we do it on the three o'clock, absolutely miles away. So now we're essentially going to just apply pressure with this big lever so it meets the rim. And the trick with this is little and often. So this tool isn't only to tell you how bent your hanger is, it also bends it back as well. But there's quite a bit of leverage on this, so go easy on it. But as I said, little and often, do little adjustments, and then take more measurements until you get a nice straight hanger. So the goal is to have exactly the same measurements at every single point in the wheel. So if we take our six o'clock measurement again and go right back up to, 12 and probably just about right there maybe a tiny bit close but if you do bend it too far one way you can always bend it back don't worry about bending it too much and then you want to do the same at the the nine and the six and make sure they are pretty much there as well maybe a little bit close this side so we just wanna bend that one back out a little bit. So once you can follow the tool all the way around the wheel without it having any massive gaps, then the wheel should be nicely aligned. And I'm pretty happy with that. So now it's time to take the tool off and screw our derailleur back on. 
So what happens if you don't have an alignment tool? Well, you can use one of these, an adjustable spanner. It will do the job, but it won't be as accurate as the alignment tool. So what you want to do is place the adjustable spanner onto the hanger, tighten it up, and then, whatever way it's bent, you can just gently use the leverage on the tool, just bend it slightly, and you're just gonna kind of eyeball it because you haven't got any specific measurements to go off. Um, little and often as well with this, a few different angles until you're happy with it. But what if you haven't got one of these? What do you do if you're out on the bike and you crash and it's pretty badly bent? Well, you can essentially take it in your hands and just apply force with it. And you could do that with your derailleur on, but make sure you hold the derailleur nice and tight and firmly and bend it because you don't want it to snap. And just be careful when uh, screwing your derailleur back on not to uh, cross thread it. Definitely haven't done that before. So once your derailleur is back in, your DI2 cable is in, it might just be worth going through and indexing your gears because obviously the derailleur might be in a little bit of a different position, but it should all be good. But if you are struggling, then take it down to the experts at your local bike shop and they'll be able to fix it for you, no problem. But hopefully this video has helped someone out there realign their mech hanger. So let me know down in that comment section below if you have any questions and we'll try to help. And as always, if you did like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up.